Hey Space Cadets, Lanchin here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be creating my own book nook. So if you saw my explore jungle themed living room, then you probably know that I'm kind of obsessed with adventure. So for my book nook, I'm not going to be doing something space related, although that was my original idea. Given the size that I'm working with, my original idea is not going to work for it. So today I'm going to be exploring my jungle side by creating a book nook inside of this. So I'm really excited. So the materials I'm going to be using are, well, I actually don't really have any materials, so I'm going to be using stuff lying around my house because I try to keep my house as clean and clutter free as possible. So anything that's lying around craft related, I normally throw it away. But I do have this hat that I made of foam a long time ago. I'm going to end up using this and taking it apart. And I also have cardboard as well from my Amazon boxes. So I will recycle that by using it to create this book nook. And for the book nook itself, I'm going to be using this. So this is actually a like a hidden book storage container. It's from Michael's and I was going to toss it and then I found the book nook and I was like wait I can actually do that with this and it's sort of perfect because my bookshelf is double-sided so you can see the front and the backs of the books. Pretty much what I did is I just cut out the front of it and I will be creating everything on the inside of this. Now that I have determined the size of this project, which is very, very small, um, I'm going to drop some sketches on my iPad. All right, so this is what I got so far. I plan on making stairs that lead to a door right here, just like this. And I'm not entirely sure what the door is going to look like yet probably made of wood. I'm kind of getting the inspiration from Uncharted, so that is my inspiration for this. This is what's going on. I have some pillars, and of course, it's all going to be made of stone. I'm going to have some overgrown trees, rocks, and I think it's going to be cool. So all that I used for this project was a hot glue gun, my box cutter, and a pen, and that was for creating detail on this, <laughs> this foam stone. But yeah, if I had it my way, I would have just bought a solid piece of foam and embossed into it instead of cutting it individually because this took way too long, guys. This process ended up taking me around four hours. So yeah, definitely not worth it, even though it looks cool. Now I'm gonna start gluing on the pieces. Then I feel like things will get a lot easier. I also ended up cutting the side of this hat right here and I created little stairs. These were already kind of made to look like stone a bit. For the archway, I just cut out some cardboard. It's gonna look like this to start, but then I'm gonna add a bunch of detail later. At this point, it was kind of looking like a hoarder's house. Just a huge mess. Everything just looked not promising at all. Like I, I, at this point I was like, uh, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. It's not looking so great. I kind of spaced my bricks a little too far apart and I, I didn't really catch on to that until later once it was done and I realized they couldn't be moved. But I tried. That's, that's the whole point of this. I tried and yeah, so that's what it looked like once everything was glued in and it was starting to look a little better. So for the pillars, because I had limited space, I had to make them a lot smaller than I planned and I just had to roll up a piece of cardboard as small as possible because this book was just, there was no room in this book nook at all. And to create the detail on the stones, I found that the hot glue gun was the best for melting the foam. For the door, I cut out a piece of foam to create the shape and I used my box cutter to divide the pieces that look like wood and then I also used my hot glue gun tip to add more detail and my pen to emboss detail into what looks like wood. I don't know how it turned out so realistic looking but I was blown away like it's so cute. So then I glued the door onto a piece of cardboard that was underneath the archway and the door's actually set back a little farther than the archway to create some depth. I don't know if I achieved it. Did I? Did I achieve it? I tried. I really tried. Uh, and then it started looking pretty decent. Next, I added some vines 
And I didn't know if these vines should be green or brown. Like, I don't know, for some reason I was like, wait, no, they should be green. But when I painted them green, it looked so weird. So I made them brown. That's how I ended it. I ended up making them brown. But right now, you start to see it coming together, which is probably the best part. I also created this fake little rock out of foam. And then I spray painted the whole thing with acrylic black spray paint. When I saw it like this, it was very cool. I was like, oh, I could live here maybe. And then I started adding some acrylic paint. And now all that detail that I created starts to show up because I'm putting the paint just over the top and then it doesn't sink into everything and it looks kind of real like stone you see it the details kind of cool yeah so here's me painting the vines brown or whatever you call it a tree growing out of the rock and then for the finishing touches which really brings this whole thing to life because right now it looks cool but it's still not done, you know? For the final step, I went out and I picked some foliage off of bushes to create some trees, that's right. Now I know that this is going, these pieces are going to dry out, but whatever. I'm sure it'll look cool. And I didn't want to go to the store and buy anything. Just kind of using what I own, except I don't own those bushes, but you get the point. So I just hot glued them to certain sections where I felt like vines might be growing and where I thought it looked cool. I also put some in the cracks because I uh, made the cracks entirely too big. Like I left way too much space. So I tried to hide it with the vines and some greenery. And now for the final epic reveal. Uh, drum roll, please. I am so happy with how this turned out. Compared to how it started, I would have never imagined foam and cardboard could make something like this. If you end up trying out this project yourself, please send me a DM of your photos. I would love to see it. My Instagram's at Lantern Designs. All right, guys, that's it. I really hope you liked this video. If you have any other ideas that you would like me to recreate in a video, then be sure to drop it in a comment below so I know. And yeah, if you like this video in general, be sure to hit that like button and show your support. And if you want to stick around for more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe. Thanks again, and Space Cadets, I'll see you guys next time. Hello.